Do you ever notice the people you spend the most time with have the most influence over the way you behave? Dozens of studies have shown how our belief systems, opinions, emotions, and even thoughts are directly impacted by the people closest to us. This is why understanding our social world is so important. Learning the practices that strengthen the values of our community directly come back to strengthen our own values as individuals. When we work together, we begin to support each other's well-being goals and at the same time hold ourselves responsible for contributing to the well-being of the group. When we commit to feeling well as a group, our chances of personal growth increases because we amplify each other's positive values and practices. On the other hand, when we are with people who have less healthy value systems, it is much harder to cultivate sustainable well-being in life. That's because it's so easy to absorb the behaviors, opinions, and thought patterns of the people we spend the most time with. We want to intentionally cultivate friendships that support well-being practices for everyone. It turns out that how we structure our communities matters a great deal. In the age of social media, people tend to focus on being popular more than forming close, intimate, and trusting relationships with each other. Across nearly every aspect of our society, people are much more likely to be checking in with their phones than checking in with each other. Because of this, we spend a lot less time learning basic community-centered practices like empathy, gratitude, and cooperation that have helped our species thrive for tens of thousands of generations. This is why community-centered practices are so important. As you learn techniques designed to strengthen your selfless service, you will notice that all of your personal well-being practices become easier. When you commit to creating supportive environments as a group, you will have friends and family members looking out for your health and happiness during times when you are not.